Crewman coming at you with some Nexa content. Now today was a pretty big day for Nexa. It debuted on TXBit.io, its second exchange. Now I personally don't know too much about this exchange. However, what I do know is that Nexa just doubled its exchanges and its price has reflected that. And as you can see, the price in the last 30 days has gone up 100% in the last 24 hours it's gone up almost 50 percent and in the last seven days it's gone up on average 138 to 167 percent these are pretty impressive numbers now obviously with that jump means jump in participation the hash rate has gone up almost 3x in the last week so it seems like it's gaining a lot of traction, so I thought it would be time to update the to update my mining guide as it's about 30 days old, which is an eternity in the crypto space. So let's start with Nexa. What is Nexa? Nexa is a, they say it's a peer-to-peer -peer digital value system. It's essentially a proof of work coin. Uh, you can take a look at the roadmap and what they do, what they're about to understand all of that. I'm not gonna get, to, get into that in this video. Um, again, this is just kind of like a refresher and for any new people, this is here to help them get into it so the first thing you need to start mining Mac nexa is you need a wallet now there are there was two now there are three options for this your first option is to mine directly to one of these exchanges uh, you can mine to exbitron which is what I do you can mine to txbit.io or you can get their wallet by clicking the download link detail details and you can click source code or release notes release notes will send you right here and you can download whatever windows linux whatever you want to whatever you want to mine it on you can download that now it's up to you whatever you want to do in the beginning i kind of thought that mining to the exchange was better because i didn't really know what the long-term success of this coin would be now i still don't however this is 30 days later every chance this coin has had to fail so far it has succeeded Again, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. However, these numbers don't lie. So maybe if you believe that there is long-term potential, it might be better to mine directly to a wallet. And that is up to you. Also, if you are going to mine on a wallet, I recommend putting wallets on their own computer. I have a little test bench that I have my wallets on that's not connected to the internet. It's not connected to any of my data. That way, just in case something gets hacked or, or something like that, you know, my crypto that is stored in wallets, which is, isn't that much to be honest with you, but my crypto stored on those wallets is safe. So I would recommend that you do the same. All right, so the next thing you need to do is you need to download the miner. This is the latest wild rig multi. Um, it's version 30.36.2. You need to download it in windows or once you extract wild rig multi 36.2 you want to find the bat file nexa dash r plant you want to open it you want to hit edit then it's going to want to take everything in here and you just want to delete it like that and you want to enter the following you want to put this command in and you need to replace address with your address and then obviously the dot is your rig name so i mine on a 4090 on this computer so I just call it dot forty nine or my rig name is forty ninety. Then and then you'll need to set your overclocks. So for me on my forty ninety, I have seventy power limit. I use a memory clock of negative five oh two, and I use a core clock of plus one seventy. Your mileage may vary with these settings. My card is not your card, and I have a fan speed of sixty nine percent. Just hit the check mark. Uh, I will be releasing another video later on going over all the overclocks for all of the GPUs that I have. So stay tuned for that. Once you have the overclock settings finished, you want to go back to Nexa-R plant bat and you just want to double click it and it will go ahead and start. As you can see, it's going pretty well. Um, now the hash rate is normally higher, but I have OBS open. I have 27 million programs open right now. I usually don't leave the miner on when I'm when I'm working on stuff but I just want to show you guys how it's mining so let's go to the pool so as you guys can see the hash rate is currently about 250 tera hash and it is going up um, so you normally would find your miner at the my miner I don't have my wallet here so all you have to do is enter your wallet in here and you go and you're golden 
Um, you generate your address from wherever you mine from. And that's it. You just mine away. Now, the one thing you need to know is the first payment will be made either seven days or 5,000 confirmations. Uh, I'm currently hearing that our plant is holding the seven the seven day rule. It's not necessarily 5,000 confirmations. Although it's chain, you know, I'm hearing different things every day. So I'm not 100% sure, but you know, do your research. So like whatever you mine today, you're not gonna get access to for about seven days. Now that could be a good thing or a bad thing, honestly, because if you look at the seven day price of, of Nexa, it's gone up 171%. So not so sometimes it forces you to hold, which could be a good thing or a bad thing if it goes down. You know, not financial advice. I'll let that be up to you. So this is just a quick guide to get people who are interested in Nexa mining and to refresh anybody who maybe pulled off of it a while ago and decided to come back on now that the price has increased to show you all the latest hard um, to show you all the latest updates. So please like and subscribe for more Nexa content. I plan on releasing a video of all the overclock settings for the GPUs that I have in the next few days. And I will keep releasing more Nexa content as well as my weekly profitability journey in the month of January. Please like and subscribe. It all means a lot to me and it helps me keep making content for this channel. And I uh, hope you guys all have a nice day. Crew man out.